Selecting an Apple Watch was simple once. All you needed to do was decide if you preferred the smaller or larger model. Next, Apple included cellular connectivity as an option. Next came the second generation Watch SE, which was more reasonably priced, and the Apple Watch Ultra, which was made of metal and released in 2022. All of a sudden, there are many choices. Between the Apple Watch Series 9, the Ultra 2, and the second gen SE, there are more options than ever. We'll help you sort through them. Retailers will attempt to clear out their inventory by offering perfectly good older models of the Apple Watch at a discount, as the Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra 2 have arrived. You can acquire a fancier version of last year's watch if you're interested in more premium materials, including stainless steel, from early fall through the holidays. Additionally, you won't be losing out on a lot. Hardware-wise, the Series 7, 8, and 9 have undergone incremental improvements, Software updates account for the majority of the new functionality. Too many options might cause paralysis by analysis. But don't be alarmed. I can point you in the correct path because I've evaluated every Apple Watch model available to purchase right now, along with pretty much every other fitness watch and smart watch available. Is purchasing an Apple Watch wise? For iPhone owners, the Apple Watch is the greatest wristwatch overall. Even with the Ultra variants in the mix, there are plenty of other smartwatches that are more suitable for serious athletes than the Apple Watch. However, in terms of productivity, security features, managing your smart home, and syncing with other Apple products and services, rival watches are inferior. Furthermore, compared to other smartwatches on the market, the Apple Watch boasts the strongest third-party app ecosystem. Wearables are very personal gadgets by design, so if you don't wear your Apple Watch frequently, you won't profit from it. Spending hundreds of dollars on something that just ends up gathering dust in a drawer is the last thing you want to do. Prioritizing comfort and stacking the deck in your favor are the greatest ways to avoid this. Take a moment to determine which size and strap material will fit your wrist the best before attempting to decide which Apple Watch model to purchase. What are we looking for and who is it for? If you're a couch potato, we won't suggest the Apple Watch Ultra unless you want the longest battery life imaginable. The goal is to help you select the ideal Apple Watch for your requirements. Should you buy new? You can often save on an Apple Watch by buying refurbished, especially since there generally aren't a ton of changes year to year. Do you want to shell out extra for LTE? Which models have what sensors and how does that apply to you? Some scenarios call for you to buy cellular models. Others, you can get away with just having GPS. Both the SE and Series watches are available in two sizes. Meanwhile, Series 7, 8, and 9 are 41mm and 45mm, respectively, and the SE is 40mm and 44mm. While the smaller variants are more comfortable for people with small wrists, the larger models are better for readability. The casings of the SE and Series watches are made of aluminum, while the Series also comes with a stainless steel alternative. Aluminum will work just fine for most people, but if you're clumsy or highly active, stainless steel's added durability will be beneficial. You may also simply prefer the way stainless steel looks, which makes sense given that watches are individualized pieces of technology. Just be ready to shell out a few hundred dollars more for it. We suggest the nylon sport loop for straps since it is the most breathable, has the easiest fastening, and is less irritating than silicone, making it ideal for people with sensitive skin. We suggest looking at Amazon or Etsy for more stylish options, as they provide a greater selection of styles at more reasonable prices. The Ultra and Ultra 2 have a titanium case and are available in a single size, 49mm. Additionally, they include three unique straps that are specific to them. The Ocean, Alpine, and Trail Loops. They are intended for runners, hikers, and divers, as their names would imply, but you are free to choose the one that best fits your needs. Since the trail loop is the lightest and most adaptable of the three, we suggest using it. Any 44mm or 45mm series watch can be used with any of the Ultra straps, and any 44mm or 45mm Apple Watch strap can be used with the Ultra. Apple Watch Series SE or Ultra The all-new S9 processor in the Apple Watch Series 9 allows for double tapping, brighter screens, and offline use of Siri. If you own an iPhone 15, it also features the second-generation ultra-wideband chip for precision finding. The S9 CPU powers the Series 9 and Ultra 2, 
which is the primary hardware upgrade over the models from the previous year. This brings brighter screens, the new double-tap capability, and the ability to utilize Siri offline. They also contain Apple's second-generation ultra-wide band processor, which is useful for precise location, though you'll need an iPhone 15 model to use it. For younger consumers and those purchasing their first smartwatch, we suggest the Apple Watch SE. The Series 9 is a good option if you're upgrading from a previous Apple Watch, want an always-on display, or want more sophisticated health tracking. We suggest the Ultra 2 if you're looking for the largest and brightest screen, the best build quality and battery life, and even more sophisticated fitness functions. The 41mm limit of variant starts at $399, while the 45mm version costs $429. The cost will increase by $100 in addition to whatever your carrier charges for LTE connectivity. The nylon composite back of the second generation SE helps reduce the price by $30 compared to the original. Additionally, the SE's display is marginally smaller in both sizes. The 40mm and 44mm models start at $249 and $279, respectively. In addition to the costs charged by your carrier, adding LTE will cost an additional $1.50. You're not really missing out on SBO2 or EKG if you're young and healthy. This is especially relevant because the SE's heart rate sensor can still generate aberrant heart rate alerts. But in some cases, such as when you require the newest and greatest or one and always on display, going with the Series 9 is the superior option. For those with poor vision, the larger, brighter display also offers far greater readability. Additionally, if you have a heart disease or are more likely to develop a FEEB, this is the better option. As Apple's premier smartwatch, the Ultra 2 is currently at the top of the series. It is stylistically different from the Series and SE, and being the largest at 49mm makes it stand out from the others. All models include LTE support. The short answer is no if you own an Ultra and are considering upgrading to the Ultra 2. There is not enough of a difference, and it is too early. If you walk, dive, or run trails frequently, this is also a superior option. Though advertised as a rugged watch for adventurers, we think it's really more of an aspirational piece of gear for weekend warriors and intermediate athletes or anyone aspiring to reach that kind of performance. For those looking to upgrade their hardware for the future without going over budget, the Apple Watch SE is the best option, as long as you don't mind giving up a larger display. Along with crash detection, you receive the same processor as the Series 8 and original Ultra. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it amazing, please don't forget to hit that like button below.